Hi again. So in this video, I will cover the uh, such aspect of using Kazakh horse bow as thumb ring and thumb release. And uh, it's worth to to say that at the time I was writing this book, it was still a new thing, and a lot of the archers in Kazakhstan. Mongolia at that time were still shooting fingers or uh, as we call as we often refer to Mediterranean or European style and uh, using thumb rings was still an exotic and it was kind of a reawakening for all of us because uh, uh, it was the idea was so new we never heard of it uh, in our childhood and so, uh, as I was transitioning to thumb ring archery and writing this book and doing my research, uh, I realized that one of the biggest uh, challenges here is that there are no uh, evidence, registered evidence, to my knowledge and at least uh, to knowledge of my peers and, and uh, comrades in arms, so to speak, archers, fellow archers at that at that time of surviving Kazakh uh, thumb rings and we don't even know the name of it. For example, in, Tur in Turkish it's called Zigir or Zehir, uh, which means string holder. Another name is Shasht. And in Persian, it's called Kushtavan or Angoshtwan or something like that, if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know any Persian. So uh, we, as of today, to my knowledge, we don't have that information about uh, Kazakh rings, thumb rings. And it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, disarming because... Uh, I know intuitively and logically that Kazakhs must have used thumb rings because uh, it's, you know, when you study an anatomy and performance of a horse bow, especially lesser Kazakh horse bow, using three fingers would be just uh, not very comfortable because when you pull the angle of a string gets so sharp kind of you, your three fingers just wouldn't fit and when you hold it with one finger it gets this one perfect anchor point and when you release it just goes so smoothly and also all all our neighbors all our cousin uh, horseback archer cultures used thumb ring so it is impossible that only Kazakhs for some uh, mystical reason in the middle surrounded by nations that used thumb ring wouldn't re use it it's just uh, it's just a completely illogical using the same type of bow but not using thumb ring for whatever reason it would it, it's just impossible and so I uh, uh, assumed I made an educational educated guess with 99% or even 100% uh, certainly that Kazakhs used thumb ring. Now, the way we call it today, for the lack of better word, we use either word Sakina, Sakina, or uh, Zhuzuk. Both words mean ring. And, you know, when we ask each other, how do you shoot? Do you shoot with Sakina or do you shoot with Zhuzuk? And that kind of uh, determines whether it's a an authentic uh, thumb ring shooter or you know three finger shooter, and uh, why is it so? Why is it uh, why do why don't we have thumb rings found? My understanding is that they are they exist. They probably are somewhere in archives in the museums. But because at that point the, the the people who were you know working with these collections when 
the, who were putting them together first time, they probably didn't find the, the use, the purpose of them. And they just put them in the box that says, you know, objects of unknown purpose or something. You know, I'm kind of uh, speculating here. But uh, that's one of the reasons why perhaps we don't have them on display or mentioned anywhere. Another reason could be that uh, the nomads, the Kazakhs, mostly used leather thumb rings because uh, they are so easy to make cheap. Leather was like one of the most readily available materials for the nomads because they, uh, you know, they ate. Uh, the major part of their rations were meat from their animals or hunting and the leftovers they never threw anything. They used every single piece of leftovers, the bones, the hooves, everything. Everything went into production and uh, got recycled. It was pretty much a waste-free uh, waste animal husbandry. Even intestines were consumed, washed and, and, and cooked and consumed as food or used for to produce glue arrow glue bow glue anyways it's just the most readily available material was hide and leather and maybe they used that to make their thumb rings because that's something any any uh, nomadic archer could do produce his or her own thumb ring and you know leather is not a very uh, lasting material so maybe it just got decomposed or something and that's maybe why we don't have them left so uh, that's uh, as far as uh, historical data on Kazakh uh, particularly Kazakh uh, thumb rings also I describe in this chapter uh, how it's used but uh, I'm not going to talk about it right now because obviously there is so much information by now. Back then it was new. Nobody no knew about it. But right now there is so much information. Everybody know about thumb ring archery. Uh, anyways, if you want to know more about it, if you want to find out more about it from my perspective, you, you can get it from my book. And that's kind of... Uh, covers <clears throat> this section uh, regarding thumb rings as part of using the har uh, Kazakh horse board. In the next section we will talk about how it was carried, the type of quivers and etc. So thank you and see you soon.